All right, guys, welcome to Hanson Speed Shop. Before we get started here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for a lot more cool videos like this one to be coming out in the future. We're doing another one of our muscle bike banana seat bike reviews. Today, a Sears Spider Girls from the early 1970s. We're going to do a little bit of history on this bike. Um, I had wanted a banana seat bike pretty much since like I was probably three or four years old. Um, and we had found a boy's uh, I think it was like a Hiawatha uh, in the junkyard brought the thing home and uh, my dad's like what color do you want to paint it because the thing was like destroyed and we were going to restore the whole bike and I really wanted uh, an orange crate because that was kind of the first banana seat bike that I had ever seen <clears throat> so I wanted to paint it orange so we tore the whole thing apart stripped it painted it orange and for some reason the paint did not adhere and uh, it shattered and fell off and my dad decided that he was just going to redo it a uh, different color which was yellow and I didn't really like that and it kind of just didn't get finished so I still wanted uh, a banana seat bike. So one night uh, my dad was driving home from work and uh, there was this kind of a junk store here in town and there were some old bikes parked out in front of it like three or four banana seat bikes so he came home this was probably around 1997 um and it's like Jess there's this junk store and they got a bunch of old banana seat bikes we'll go down there tomorrow and pick one out and they had like a pink one and a blue one and a green one well, since I've been a little kid, green's always kind of been like my favorite color. So, of course, when we got there, I seen this green one. And they were all girls, which I wasn't super happy about. But I just wanted a banana seat bike. And even though it's a girl's, it's still super cool. So, we picked out this green one. And um, we paid $20 for it. Which, actually, in 1997 was kind of a lot of money for an old um, banana seat bike. Usually like at garage sales, junkyards, um, thrift stores, stuff like that. You know, you could get these bikes for like $10, $15 back then. I mean, we were building, uh, not soon after that, building uh, whole Schwinn Stingrays for like 40, 50 bucks. So 1997 for a girl's Sears, $20 um, was kind of a lot of money, but we bought it anyway. Um, the biker, when we first got it, had uh, a blue metal flake vinyl uh, banana seat on it that was really rotted out. So we put this black cheapy vinyl one on. And it when we first got it, it had a black knobby in the front and a white wall knobby in the back. Um, but And it had a front fender on it. Um, so the first thing that I did when I got the bike was we changed the seat. And I took that front fender off. And really um, proceeded to just ride the absolute crap out of this bike. I rode this bike through kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and I, to school. And then after like uh, about third grade, the bike ended up over at my grandparents' house. And I rode the bike literally like every day over there. Uh, I rode this thing in the winter on ice. I rolled this thing on dirt trails. I took this thing off jumps. And now you got to remember, this bike is like... 40 was like 40 years old then probably closer to 50 now and literally the only things that have been changed on this bike since i've owned it is the seat and it's gone through about three sets of tires but nothing else has ever been changed on here this is the original chain these are the original bearings these are the original wheels these are the original metal flake blue grips all the bearings, the brakes, everything is original on this bike. It's never been torn apart. And that just goes to show how much quality was put into stuff that they used to make years ago. 
Um, this bike never had a kickstand on it since I've owned it. I'm not sure if it originally did. I don't think so because um, it's not really scratched up in here for like a clamp on one. Um, so it's never had a kickstand on it. That's why we got it leaning up against the house here. Um, last year, um, I saved this bike again. Um, it almost went in the garbage when they were cleaning out my grandpa's shed. Um, so I was like, no way is that thing going in the garbage. Uh, we took it out, brought it home. Um, the tires that were on it were pretty bad. So I had these white walls, um, which are actually not much better than what was on it. Um, but they look a lot better. Um, and I think that's probably how the bike came originally. Um, this bike is this nice kind of lime green, um, candy green color. Um, it originally had these three stripes right here, white, blue, and black. And then it's really faded over the years, but one of my favorite things on this bike was, it used to have this racing flag sticker right here. And here's the spider logo. Then a lot of the non-Schwins um, had that red ring in the rear hub, which I always thought was super cool looking. I also was always a fan of this style um, chain ring, which came on a lot of different um, bikes like Sears, Huffies, Coast to Coast, um, had this similar style chain ring. Um, super short cranks. These are the original blue um, metal flake plastic pedals, which are super sloppy and worn out. Um, original front fork. Here's the original faded out Sears badge. Um, but this was just a super fun bike to ride as a kid. Um, put just tons of miles on this bike. Um, so we're going to put a little bit more on it and take it for a ride now. And then we'll go from there. All right, we're going to take this baby for a ride. Now, this bike never was a very fast bike, but it's pretty comfortable and it was just tough as nails. I literally could not break this bike. So let's go. Now, this bike's a little bit uh, sloppy to ride because the pedals are like really worn out. But that's what it looks like. Um, when you're riding this bike. Pretty easy to pedal. Um, the brakes are getting a little bit worn out on this thing. But again, got to remember this thing's like 50 years old. It's never been rebuilt. It's never been torn apart. It's just been pounded for like all 50 of those years. And really, it's still in super good shape. Um, I've seen bikes way, way worse than this. As you can see, I'm sitting down, I'm not standing up because I'm trying to hold the camera, but um, going up a hill is kind of hard to pedal. Our driveway does have a little bit of an incline, and if you don't get some speed up, these little short cranks can be kind of hard to, hard to pedal. But overall, this bike's pretty fast for the short cranks, considering how old um, those bearings are. It rolls really nice. It's a nice cruiser rideable bike. And that's what I did with it. And I had a lot of fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is the early 1970s Sears Spider Girls. Comment, let me know what you think of this bike. Give it a thumbs up if you think it's super cool. And I'm gonna go ride it some more. So get out, work on your own projects, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.